Effective collaboration is essential for teams to deliver their best work. Let's cover the many ways Notion helps teams collaborate effectively so you can move faster with clarity and alignment. In this case, let's consider how a team might collaborate on a new quarterly strategy proposal. First off, one of the most common ways to give feedback in Notion is using comments. Highlight any section of text and you'll see the option to leave a comment. Alternatively, you can simply hover over the right of any block. After you leave a comment, this creates a thread where others can respond and react. To hide the comment, simply resolve it. Early on in the drafting process, comments can be helpful to steer your writing at a higher level and bring in relevant team members and resources. Oftentimes, your comments may include information like people, pages, or dates from your workspace. Mentions help with this and are easily created using the at symbol. Mentioning a person will notify them. And mentioning a page will give a hyperlink to make that page easily accessible. If you mention a date like today, yesterday, or next Friday, it will dynamically change as time passes. This could be helpful to give context to the page owner. Reminders are a helpful way to notify yourself or a team member at a particular time. Add a reminder to an already mentioned date from its date picker, or use the command at remind followed by the date. Create reminders for others by mentioning them in the same block. These notifications gather in your inbox. Here, you'll see comments, mentions from teammates, reminders, and page updates. Use your inbox settings to filter messages or archive them so you can clear everything down to zero. After everyone has given feedback on our quarterly strategy proposal, it's time to make some revisions. The page owner can work through comments and resolve them to turn this proposal into a new plan. This brings us to another common way to give feedback, suggested edits. As work approaches its final state, your team might want to propose changes without overriding someone else's work. Let's consider this case where we'd like to improve the copywriting of our plan here. You can suggest edits from the text formatting menu or your page settings. Once you're in suggesting mode, when you type changes or delete sections, your changes appear as suggestions rather than direct edits. Afterwards, your teammate can choose to accept or reject each one. Or leave a comment if any further discussion is needed. When managing feedback from many stakeholders, another helpful tool is the discussion section. From here, you can see new comments or suggestions or return to resolve comments. Filter by type, status, or person to find exactly what you need. In this case, we've resolved all comments and suggestions, so this strategy plan is ready to go. Lastly, there may be times you'll want to use Notion when you're offline, whether it's a plane flight, remote offsite, or whatever the circumstance may be. Offline mode lets you download important pages for offline use, so you can continue making progress from wherever you are. To get started, open your page settings and turn on Available Offline. All offline pages stay up to date automatically, so you always have the latest version when you go offline. If you're on a paid plan, Notion will auto-download recently visited pages and favorites for offline use. This means your pages might be saved for offline use already without any manual saving needed. To view and manage all the pages you've saved for offline use, see your settings. To recap, we've covered collaboration essentials, including comments, mentions, suggested edits, and offline mode. We turned our quarterly strategy proposal into a finalized plan, showing all the ways Notion helps your team stay in sync as you move work forward.